Morning guys, does anyone else feel this way? That when you wake up in the morning and you're getting ready for the day, you feel like you're bringing your whole entire life with you to the day? Because that's how I feel right now. So when I wake up, uh, I'm pretty much don't come home until about nine o'clock at night. So I'm, I go to the gym, then I go to my classes, and then I go to the gym. So I have to bring change of clothes. Uh, first I put on what I'm gonna wear to the gym for the morning session. Then I bring a change of clothes for the day in classes. I bring my towel, I bring my backpack, I bring my water jug, and then I need to find a, another change of clothes for my afternoon session for the gym, and I have to carry all this shit into my car, so I just feel like I'm bringing my whole entire life with me when uh, I start my day. All right, sounds like a wind tunnel in here. I got the heat blasting because of that. That is all ice. So the past five days, we've gotten a storm that produced about 12 to 14 inches of snow. And then two days after that, which was yesterday, which was Sunday, sorry, I'm trying not to confuse you guys. We got uh, like a three to five inch snow storm plus an ice storm, which is that. You just see the ice on my car there. But anyways, I'm about to head off to the gym. The first session is going to consist of a bunch of squats. I think we have heavy squats today. We're working up to 90% of our one rep max, which is crazy. So, going to the weight buffet, guys. Time to eat. So we just finished the morning strength session, which uh, was squats. We worked up to 90% for back squat and for front squat. Front squat was a set of three, back squat was a set of four. Now I just had a little post-workout snack, muscle up bar, can't really see it. There you go, muscle up bar, drinking some water and studying for my anatomy test. So gotta get to work, weight buffet was fun today. All right, let's see how well I know my shit. So, this question, the second messenger mechanism of hormone action operates by, well, it's not binding to specific receptors, and employing, nope, that is, that actually is the answer, A, let's see, correct, bingo. Okay, alright, leaving the gym now, going to a gas station to pick up a little snack before class, um, so it is possible to get healthier foods or to hit your macros by getting a f getting foods at gas stations. Like if you don't have a lot of time in between, um, I don't know, just doing whatever you're doing during the day, it is possible to get healthy food that hits your macros at a gas station. So let's see what I get. Guys, we're in route to class. I always say I'm not gonna vlog and drive. Fuck, why am I vlogging and driving? Anyways, all right, I'm just gonna finish this clip up real quick because vlogging and driving, it's bad, it's bad for you. So anyways, what I got at the gas station was I got a little bag of Sour Patch uh, watermelon. The reason I got that is because after your workout, you want some high glycemic carbs. High glycemic carbs means they're fast digesting, that they're gonna absorb quickly and digest quickly in your body so that uh, the carb or the sugar could be used as energy quickly. Now, why do we need energy quickly post-workout? Well, we need energy to start the protein synthesis process. What is the protein synthesis process? The protein synthesis process is when our body begins to repair and rebuild muscle. So I had a protein bar along with that simple glycemic carb. All right, folks, we just took my anatomy test. 
and now I really really have to pee so you know you know like when you really have to pee but you got a pretty long car ride ahead of you oh, I fucking hate that feeling all right so we're gonna drive to Caitlin's house right now uh, we're gonna hang out for a little bit we're gonna eat up we're gonna fuel up and then we're gonna go uh, crush another workout before I go home and start working on my nutrition ebook which I'll talk about in the next clip Tell me in a second. What's up, guys? All right, so we just finished our second workout. It consisted of a of a metcon. Caitlin's over there too. It consisted of a metcon, which was a 14 minute am, uh, amrap of 75 wall balls, 60 cal row, 45 dumbbell alternating snatches with a 50 pound dumbbell, and uh, 30 chest bar. I got through one round, and then I got through 42 reps on the wall balls before the clock ended. So I thought I did pretty good, pretty excited. Then we finished off with six rounds, not for time, of 20 walking dumbbell lunges and um, 10 toe to bar. Now it's about to go refeed. Now we're about to go refeed up and get back and work on some Chad Money Fitness stuff, which I'll still talk about in the next clip. You guys already know what it is, but I want to talk about it more. So peace. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. Ah, fuck guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring you inside, but we went to Whole Foods, and uh, yeah, I got a post-workout meal, which was a double turkey burger with American cheese and sweet potato fries, fits my macros, you know, post, pre and post-workout are your opportunities to eat as shitty as you can, or as shitty as you want. So, uh, about to head home now, see you guys there. So you're gonna take one sock of mine, huh? It's my sock, originally. <laughs> Yeah, but why don't you take two? You only took one. Because I only needed this one. What about I your other foot? I have this one on, but I don't know my other Why are you wearing two different socks? Because you take all my pairs. I don't take your socks. They used to. Not anymore. Yeah. Alright guys, so... Uh, this is going to come to the end of today's vlog. It's going to be kind of a shorter vlog. Okay, I'll make that noise again. What I'm the, a piggy. the hell is that shit? Alright, anyway, so... Um, the nutrition... PDF what I wanted to talk about so I made a 12 week strength and muscle gain challenge 
And then I also am in the process of making a nutrition ebook. The nutritional ebook is going to give you guys guidelines on pretty much just covering everything about nutrition, calories in, calories out, macros, how much you should be eating, how much carbs you should be eating. Uh, I'm going to give you these numbers for uh, like sports specific goals, like sports and performance goals, physique goals. I'm going to give you guys different uh, phases that you should go through if you're trying to put on size and muscle, like different um, uh, like phases of dieting. And then I'm also gonna go through different foods that you should be eating. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what's most important for nutrition, what's least important. I'm just gonna cover a bunch of different topics. Uh, I'm gonna break and cover, uncover some myths in it. It's, it's gonna be really good. I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. And then if you get the 12 week- Are you excited about it? I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Because I'm really passionate about, I feel like recently I've been more passionate about nutrition than I have about like training in terms of like learning I about it. talk about it a lot in class and... Yeah, in terms of learning about it, I'm kind of more passionate about nutrition right now. But uh, anyways, if you purchase the 12 week strength and condition, strength and muscle gain challenge, there's a 30% off code in there for the nutritional PDF. So I'll, I'll give you guys more details on that when it comes out. But time to edit this vlog, post it for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's going to conclude it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, give it a like, give it a share, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.